Hey everyone, back again this time with a, another vintage canister vacuum with Powerhead. This time I got here an Electrolux Super J. And it's got this dial here of like, like dirt to like fine dirt. I don't know what, I don't know what that does, but uh, and the hose here, it's one of these, doesn't seem to lose suction because I'm thinking this is, uh, let me take this hose off here. Uh, just click it off. I know it comes off. There it does. What it appears as if it were, uh, it's got like the inside of a typical vacuum hose inside and it's just woven on the outside to look like the cloth hose of the older Electroluxes. Set the camera down. And one thing I forgot to mention, these two, these two ears right here. Yeah, they go in and these contain the prongs to power the uh, power nozzle or the power head. So, kind of interesting. So it's quick disconnect there and up here, quick disconnect holding the plug. So no pigtails. So plugs right into there. For those of you who do not know. And this power head has... Yeah, it's the brush, more like my Kenmore Progressive type brush roll. Now, you can also detach the wands. You just have to unplug this pigtail. And then detach that, and now you got the, the hose wand for like that floor brush piece. I forgot to bring it. So I'm just going to demonstrate it with, this is similar to my Kenmore Progressive. Ah, can't get the plug in. Shoot. Shoot. Ah, let's. There we go. Got it plugged in, so it plugs in down here, so you have to separately unplug it, like a older pigtail. So, but I'm gonna turn on the vacuum alone. And I got the meter hooked up. And it draws 8.2 amps. I don't feel suction coming from in the hose, so about 8.2 amps, 880 some watts, power factor of one, means it's using almost 100% of the current that it's drawing in. So I'm going to grab the power head attach that and uh, let's just take a look at our current draw with the power head attached nine so close to 10 amps 9.6 sum thousand watts and still a power factor of one Yeah, and uh, this thing's picking up pretty good, actually. It's a good machine. All right. And I forgot to bring the floor brush, so uh, but that so that's gonna be all I have for this 
Electrolux Super J. I don't have any tools for this yet, but I'm very sure I could find tools for this. So, other than that, that is all I have for this, this lovely Electrolux Super J, which I've also spotted out when I was a kid at various places, little store, hole in the wall stores in the corner of them. People would use these and even some, there's some people that I remember having this in their closet, you know, or having this out. So I used to see these and I was drawn to these. And I also remember my mom vacuum shopping when I was maybe four or five years old. And there was a place that dealt with Electrolux as you're looking at these and I thought these were pretty cool machines along with the Kenmores from Sears. But other than that, that's all I have for this Electrolux video. You'll very likely be seeing me with more ceiling fan videos, but it's probably gonna be one of my last couple of videos, this vacuum and I got one fan to test. You know, and that's gonna be the last video since I've got a at least in this room, so I'm gonna have to, I'll be finding a different place to test, mainly fans. As you can see, I got lots of fans. So there's some fans up there as well, and that. So to show that I'm also into fans too, but I'm mainly more so for fans. I'm just limitedly into vacuums based on canister with power head like my Kenmore right there all right but other than that thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you later